HubSpot dashboards serve as an excellent home base, packed full of insights about performance, activities, and more. Today, we're going to show you how to create a HubSpot dashboard, as well as some little known tips and tricks. Welcome to HubSpot Hacks, where we help you get more out of HubSpot. HubSpot dashboards are a collection of reports and other information inside of your portal. The best news is they're available no matter what sort of HubSpot subscription you have. So let's dive in and explore. All right, here we are at a, one of our dashboards. So we're at our marketing dashboard. The first thing you'll notice about dashboards is you've got this top left hand drop down where you can select the various drop downs you have in your portal. So you can see we've got quite a few. The amount of dashboards that are available in your portal are going to uh, depend on your subscription level. So we're on our marketing dashboard. I'll give a little disclaimer here. We are in our test portal. So we don't have a ton of data in here. When we're going through reports and dashboards in this video, you're going to see a lot less data than you would likely have in your portal unless your portal is brand new. So this dashboard, you can see we've got a report across the top and a variety of reports as you scroll down. So we're going to show you how you can create a new one. So you've got this create a dashboard button at the top. So when you click on that, you're going to have a couple different options. One of the things you can do is build a dashboard from scratch which is what we're going to show you how to do today. But I do encourage you to explore the different dashboard templates that they have as they might be a good start for the type of insights that you're looking for. So these are pre-built templates with a collection of reports for a specific purpose. So we've got them for account based marketing, business units, chats, et cetera, et cetera. There's quite a few in here. So definitely encourage you to explore those. But today we are just going to start with a new dashboard from scratch. We're going to click here and we're just going to call this our HubSpot tax dashboard and you can select who can access it. So in this case, we'll create it for our whole team and create that dashboard. So that dashboard has been saved. We've got an option to go to it. Oh, didn't click it fast enough. So we'll go back here and it should be in our drop down. You've got a lot of dashboards you can search, but we can see it right here. You can see we've got nothing on it. So if you've got nothing on your dashboard, you will have this add reports to this dashboard button here. But if you've got a report on it already, you can also add reports by clicking on add report in the top right. When you click on this, you've got two different options, one to add from saved reports and one to create a report. So saved reports are going to be reports that you have already created and saved in your portal. Today we're going to add a one that we create. So we're going to go to create report and that's going to take us to this report screen here. And you'll see again, we've got the option to build a report from scratch. Lots of different options here. Uh, there's quite a bit to go through with the custom report builders and that. So we'll save that for another video, but you can also see we've got a lot of templates. There's even more report templates than there are dashboard templates. So I really encourage you to leverage this sidebar here and the filter options that we have. So I'm going to go in and select, um, let's say I'm looking for reports around deals and this is going to pull up all of the reports about our deals. So we'll scroll through here and find one that we like. Deal amount average by rep. That sounds like something I want to know. So let's add that one. So I'm going to click on that report. It's going to show us what the full report looks like. I can adjust my report filters. I can even pull it into the report builder and customize it further if I'd like, but I like it how it is. So I'm going to hit save and it's going to ask if I want to change the name of the report. Um, and whether I want to add it to a dashboard. So now that I've saved it, remember in that drop down box when we added the report, we've got we've got the option to select from saved reports or create a new one. Once I save this, this would appear in that saved reports drop down. But I want to add it to my dashboard now and I want to add it to that HubSpot hacks dashboard. So I'm going to save and add. And again, it gives me the option to go to my dashboard. So now you can see I have that report on the dashboard. And once you have it on there, it's kind of nice. You can customize the size. So let's say I wanted to take, take up less room, or maybe I wanted to take up more room. You can adjust that pretty easily. Once you have the reports that you like on your dashboard, one of the things that you can do is filter all of the reports. So on any individual report, you can select this view and filter icon here and adjust any filters that are available on the reports. Uh, like in this case, maybe the deal owner or the properties that uh, the date property that we're showing, the date range, we can customize those things. 
But let's say I've got a few reports about my deals on here and I wanna customize the whole report or filter the whole dashboard. In that case, I can go up here to filter dashboard and let's say I wanna filter the date range for all of the reports on my dashboard. So I can change this. Let's say I just wanna see this week, for example, and I wanna see the frequency daily. I can apply that. No data in my test portal for this week, but it would apply that filter to all of the reports that I have on my dashboard. So that's the basic of HubSpot dashboards, but now let's get into some of those tips and tricks that a lot of people don't know. So in addition to adding reports, you can also add other things to your dashboard. So you can do that by going to actions, and there's quite a bit of options here. So let's look at this add images, text, or audio. So let's say in your dashboard you want to add, let's say you want to add a dashboard for instructions or standard operating procedures for all of your salespeople. Well, you could do that by creating a dashboard and adding some text to it. So let's say we want to just add a standard operating procedure here. One, step two, whatever you'd like to put in here and add it. So now we can see that that appeared here. We have the same options to adjust the sizing and things like that. We could add images. Let's say we've got a flow chart. One of the things that we often do for our clients is define what their buyer's journey looks like in HubSpot, put it into a flow chart and add it to a dashboard. So lots of powerful things you could do there. The other thing that you can do is add external content. So we're gonna click on this here. It's gonna give you a few different options. So let's say you've got uh, some information or charts in Google Sheets that you wanna add, a slide deck like a sales presentation or uh, training for HubSpot users about how to use the platform, some charts in Google Data Studio, Data Box, or any other link. Um, so in this case, we're gonna add a YouTube video. Why not? We like YouTube here. Uh, we're gonna call it, let's add our saved views HubSpot hack. And I'm gonna paste, I've already copied the embed code from YouTube. So I'm gonna paste that here and add that. And now we've got a HubSpot hacks video right inside of our dashboard. Uh, and we can play that um, and do whatever we'd like with that video. So if you've got a couple HubSpot hacks that you'd like to share with other people on your team and have it easily accessible from directly inside of your dash inside of your HubSpot dashboard, now you know how to do that as well. And once you have your dashboard or dashboards set up the way that you would like to, you're probably gonna want to share them with stakeholders on your team. Now some of those stakeholders might have access to HubSpot and they can log in and see this dashboard as long as you have that visibility set up that way but maybe you want to email it to them or maybe you've got a stakeholder that doesn't have access to your portal. That's where the share button is really gonna come in handy. So we're gonna click on that. So you can copy the URL and share this or we can email it. And we email it, we're gonna have a couple different options. So we can say, I want to send this email on a recurring basis and we can give it a nickname. Uh, we wanna say, let's just call this test for the nickname. Uh, you can tell it who you'd like it to send it to, what the subject line of the email should be, what the message of the email should be, and since we set it to recurring, there's a schedule, so let's say we wanna send this every day or at the end of every week. We could select, uh, let's say I wanna send this out every Friday, 8 a.m. is fine. Do we wanna attach a downloadable file so we can attach a downloadable PDF of the dashboard if we would like to? You can select one chart per page, multiple charts per page, and you can show the filters or without filters for the dashboard context. And we can schedule this. Uh, if you'd like to take a look at what it looks like before you schedule it, this is what that PDF would look like for us. So pretty simple, not a very fancy PDF, I'll be honest, but it is a nice way to get insights out to the people on your team who need them. I definitely recommend checking out those dashboard templates that HubSpot has already put together for you and see what you can put together from scratch to pull even more insights out of your HubSpot portal. For more HubSpot tips, tricks, and how-tos, make sure you hit that subscribe button and jump down to the description to get on our HubSpot Hacks newsletter list for even more. See you next time.